Hello everybody, MD Polo here. Thank you for joining me. Today we take a first look at the Sig Sauer P320 X Carry Legion in 9mm. It's something that is interesting and the reason I'm bringing it to you is because I'd like to know your thoughts on something like this. What would you use it for? So it's something that is the size of roughly, um, you know, P229, so it's mid-size. It's not a full size, it's not something on the compact size. But then again, they give you a threaded barrel, suppressor height sights, fully adjustable suppressor night sights. We'll take a look at them in a little bit. You got a full pick, uh, pick rail here, a skeletonized trigger, a lot of features, an enormous magwell, and you got the tungsten infused grip, just like it was first introduced with a uh, X5 Legion, the full-size competition pistol. The one thing that has me confused as to what would be the purpose for this, because this is a pistol that unloaded weighs 40.5 ounces. 40.5 ounces. Once again, I'm not filming at my normal location at home. I'm over at Range USA in Carmel, Indiana. So I want to thank them very much for letting me film this pistol that does not belong to me. And also, I wanted to tell you that because of that, the lighting might be a bit of an issue, so uh, just bear with me on that. Right off the bat, this is a pistol that looks very well made, just like the Sig Legions are. A lot of attention to detail. I like that. Um, the magwell is enormous. So if this is supposed to be for competition, I, I understand. But for the size of the pistol and for the options that come on it, it almost seems to point more to a duty pistol, something you can put a comp on, something you can attach a silencer to, but then they give you target sights, fully adjustable target sights. So is it a target pistol, competition pistol? Is it a duty carry pistol? But then why does it have such an enormous magwell? You get three mags, which are very nice steel mags with a Legion base plate, 17 rounds, so 17 plus one. I'm very happy that they give you three of them. The ginormous magwell, you can take it, you can detach it, just unscrew it and it'll come out if you don't want it. The trigger is something that I really, really enjoy. And I haven't been a huge fan of the SIG triggers. I don't like that thump that you get when you pull them, it's like, like a plastic thump. But having said that, look at this. And I know that I'm bouncing all over the place here, but there. That's all there's to it. Starting again. SIG claims that this gives you a 30% lighter trigger than a normal P320X carry. There you go. That's the, all the take up. You're at the wall. Instant break. No mush, nothing, no grit. It just goes to the wall and breaks. And then from here, there's your reset. And you're instantly on the wall again. Let the focus catch up a little bit. Just very, very nice on the trigger. Ample magwell. It's got a little bit of texture in the front, none on the bottom. Deep undercut. You got there your mag release with a little bit of texture on it. It's quite a bit out of the way and it works fine. The one downside, and I saw that also both in the Max Michelle review that I did and also in the original X5 Legion, is if you have a malfunction, if you have to rip this out, I have medium sized hands and I cannot get in there to get it. Come on, focus. It's in there, and I can get a little bit here, none on the sides, and there's no way to get to it. So you guys that have bigger hands, there's just no way you're going to be able to get in there. Continuing to bounce around, I, I'm a big fan of six, six sights. So these are fully adjustable for windage and elevation. You get tritium in the back, and also the x-ray night sight in the front. You got your threaded barrel. 
There we go. And of course, being a P320, this is a modular chassis. So the firing group, the firing component, is a serialized part that is inside, and you can just remove it. And if you don't want the heavy tungsten grip module, you can put it in something else, a Wilson Combat grip module, whatever your choice is. And let me see if the light will cooperate in here. No, I'm not pointing the gun at myself. Come on, light. There you go, a nice white balance, freak out. You can see the channel in here, maybe. There's a channel in there where you can put an additional tungsten rod in there if you want to make this even heavier than it is. So it is optics ready. So if you want to take, you, you remove the plate. In this one, you do have to get in through the bottom, remove the screws from the, from the inside, and the whole plate comes out. And you do have a front sight that is, opti is a suppressor height sight to co-witness, but you would lose your rear sight takes down like any other P320. And let me show you the barrel. There you go. Come on, camera. One thing that I like about the SIG P320 line versus the Glocks, for example, is that they don't have that dumb indentation here and I also like that you get texture all the way to the top. Nice beaver tail here you can get nice and high under it and that helps because to some people that whine about the bore axis and I'm not saying that it's not a thing physics are what they are but it's never made a gun not shoot well for me because it has a little bit higher bore axis. So a quick look at the Sig Sauer P320X carry from the Legion line. Locally, these are selling for that. So it's not a bad price for everything you get. What do you think of this one? I can't tell you this one's going to go home with me because I'm not sure what I, what I use it for. And that's part, part of what I wanted to do in this video, is pick your brain and you tell me, what will you use this for? Because I'm a little confused, to be honest with you. As always, I upload videos every Friday morning and on Wednesday mornings as well when I can. I'm very active on Instagram and there you can see what's coming down the pipeline to the channel way before it hits YouTube. I would appreciate a follow there as well. This year I would like to get to 15,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel and YouTube tells me that about 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you would like to help me on that journey, I would appreciate if you can click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to all notifications. That way you'll know when uploads go to the channel. Once again, thank you very much for watching and until the next time, God bless.